welcome back to another YouTube video. Today is Friday, of course, so we're doing another weekend vlog weekend in my life in New York City, but actually it's going to be in my life in the Hamptons this weekend because I'm going out there with my boyfriend's family. This weekend is Passover for them slash Easter. Basically, I, I grew up celebrating Easter, but my boyfriend's family celebrates Passover and they always go out there and make do like a whole weekend and cook all this food and it's always really fun and really nice and I look forward to it. So yeah, we're doing that and we're going to be leaving later today. Um, right now I have a bag and my suitcase is packed. Not the suitcase because, not because this is what I'm bringing to the Hamptons for literally like two nights, but because <laughs> this is my laundry. And as you guys know, I do my laundry over at Lyle's. It has been three weeks since I have done my laundry. I know, it's crazy, so I have a big pile. Yes, and I'm wearing this dress from River Island. It's going to be, it's supposed to get up to 80 degrees today. That is crazy. So I'm already feeling the heat. I woke up this morning early to like shower and get ready. So I'm going to do my laundry and do my work over at Lyle. So I'm bringing my work laptop and I'm just gonna sit in the corner and do my work while I do my laundry and then we're gonna drive out in the afternoon. But yay, excited for a fun little weekend. I just went up the stairs <laughs> crazy story I wanted to tell you of what just happened so I'm walking back from Lyle's with my laundry and obviously I'm carrying a lot so I have my big suitcase and then I have a, another big bag full of clothes and on the sidewalk we kind of came to this point where there was two people walking right here and I was walking um, kind of like behind them slash like a little bit alongside them and the, the sidewalk can only fit three people so that's us three and then this guy comes up and he's kind of like directly in front of me like we're walking towards each other and then the two other people are right here and I saw this TikTok video that girls always are the ones that will move out of the way I mean this is like generalizing but like you know and that guys expect you to move. Like when you're walking and we're coming up to a point, they expect you to be the one that moves out of the way. And if you don't, they literally don't know what to do. They're shocked. And so here I am carrying tons of stuff and I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna be the one to shift and move out of the way because that would take so much more effort to move this heavy suitcase and my bag and everything. And this guy was just a guy carrying nothing, just himself walking. And he literally goes, move. And I was like, I was like, no, I, I'm carrying, I'm the one that's carrying tons of stuff. Why should I have to move? And then what did he say? He was like, he's like, there's three people walking and there's, st there's traffic in the way. I'm like, yeah, I was in the same traffic, but if you, like, why am I the one that has to move? And he's like, blah, blah, blah. by the way, he had like a mullet and he was super short just to paint the picture. <sighs> And, um, but he was definitely like in his thirties or forties and, and then he was like, blah, 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 like giving me a hard time. And I was like, all right, believe you. I said the F word. <laughs> I never say stuff like that, guys. I don't know what came over me, but I was just like, I have nothing else to say to you, but just like, just like. <laughs> so I said that and then I was walking away like. Oh my god, did I just say that? Oh my god, oh my god. I, I, I actually want to cry right now because, like, I just hate those situations. And I feel very out of my comfort zone saying something like that to someone in public. Um, so the whole time I was walking in the street, it's like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Thank god my apartment's only another couple blocks because I just want to get inside. Um, and then, as I was, like, trying to carry my suitcase up the stairs, this guy came in behind me and he actually offered to carry my suitcase all the way up the stairs even though he lives two floors 
below me so <laughs> that completely made up for it I feel like it was a complete 180 of two scenarios in a very quick time frame and I feel very over over overwhelmed right now like overstimulated with situations so I need to <sighs> drink some water but <laughs> Yeah, so I know for like most people that wouldn't be a big deal, but for me, just like, I'm sure you guys like know kind of in general the way that I am is that like, that sucked the whole life out of me. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to put my laundry away, pack for this weekend, try to get this out of my head. Oh, I also got an Easter basket. Well, my mom, so my mom sent me some Easter basket stuff, which I thought was really sweet. I already ate all of it. <laughs> Um, but I got this Easter basket because I wanted to do a cute, like, Easter-themed Instagram picture. So it's just from Amazon. I'm trying to open it. Aww. <laughs> oh, that's not good. The ribbon is... ...fraying. Alright, not as nice as the picture. It's so small, but it's so cute! It's like a perfect little Easter basket size. Okay, I have this little... I already ate my eggs. I knew I shouldn't have done this because I stopped at CVS on the way back to get like little props to put in here and everything was completely sold out, which I should have known it's the Friday before Easter. So, I have some little stuff in here in the box that my mom sent me. You know this stuff that goes at the bottom of your Easter basket. So, that kind of, you know, lifts it up a little bit. There we go. Hmm. It's harder than it looks to make an Easter basket. I feel like I have a newfound respect for this. I realize I've never put together an Easter basket before, which I guess makes sense. You need to stuff it a lot more than you think you would. Cute. All right, the bunny's living back there. Let's see if I have time to take a picture. <laughs> for a weekend in the Hamptons. I'm gonna check the weather app. Ooh, it's gonna rain in like an hour. Ooh. Okay, that means I need to get outside soon. All right, so today is clearly the warmest, then tomorrow will be 60s, that's not bad. And then Saturday is kinda cold and Sunday is pretty cold. So I think my outfit for tomorrow will have to be the cutest one. And then we have Saturday and Sunday. Maybe a, like a light sweater, I'm thinking. Hmm. What can I wear? What can I wear? Also, guys, look, I'm not the only one that sits out on my fire escape. Someone else is doing it, too. All packed. I have... <laughs> Lots of pretty little sundresses in there that I'm excited to wear. Since it's still kind of springtime, it's going to be kind of that in-between weather. My go-to is a sundress and a cardigan. So I have a couple combos of those. And this is a, a Vera Bradley bag that I've had since college. And I still love it. So, <laughs> yes, but I have my tripod. Easter basket. And out the door to get a quick shot before we leave in a bit.
a beautiful new day. The sun is shining. I look crazy. I just woke up. We made it to the Hamptons. It is, whoa, very bright. It's so nice to be out of the city sometimes. I mean, I love New York, but when I come out to see trees and grass, I just feel like, ah, oh, it's nice. <laughs> But yeah, it's Friday morning now. I took the day off of work, so just gonna hang out with the family, probably cook lots of food, and just have a nice, lovely holiday weekend. But right now, I'm just getting ready. I uh, have my whole box here. I love this. I got it from Amazon. I will link it. It fits so much in it, actually. Like it really truly does and it looks so cute. It looks like a vintage suitcase. Um, it even has a combination and everything if you need. Um, but, yep. been studying my French all morning. I brought my two little workbooks with me so that whenever we had downtime I could just study my French. But I love this wallpaper. I love this bedroom. It's so pretty. Um, but yeah, we've been having a nice time. Yesterday we... what did we do? We did a lot of cooking. We picked flowers. It was a beautiful sunny day. And we went to get ice cream. We, oh, we went to like a garden center, which was really nice. I just love being outside um, and spending some, <laughs> the woman who worked there called it flower therapy, which I'm gonna use that term from now on because I feel like that's such a accurate representation. Um, but yeah, so today I don't really know what the plan is. It's a little bit more gloomy outside, I guess. It's kind of like, a little bit colder today so I have this sweater on this is my H&M dress and then oh I have this bow from Love Shack Fancy I actually got it at the one out here so I'm in Sag Harbor which is I think are we on the North Fork I think it's the North Fork I'll put it on the screen if we're not um, but yeah and I think today we're kind of deciding what we want to do we maybe we'll do some shopping um, Hang out.
right, we're back from shopping. There's so many good shops in Sac Harbor. And what I love about them is that they're all small businesses and that they're all like little boutiques and just cute little shops <laughs> category. The sad thing though is that the Love Shack Fancy is temporarily closed and that is of course my favorite store. So I was kind of sad about that but that was okay because we got to check out a lot of other shops. I did pick up a couple of things and I wanted to show you guys what I got. Okay, so there was this store that had like beauty products and skincare and hair care and they were all really kind of high-end nice brands and they had some French skincare there. So I got the Embryolisse Lay Creme Concentrate which is one of my favorite moisturizers. They sell this in French pharmacies and I can't find it anywhere in the U.S. except for online and Sometimes it's just annoying, but the fact that it was in the store was great because I don't have a full size and I use that so much. It's great under makeup. And then I got this Real Techniques brush, which I just thought was cute because it's pink and it has a tiny little brush on the top. So I figured it would be good for like a highlighter or just anytime I want to be a little bit more precise. It could be for under eye makeup. And then... I got this Aven kind of like uh, chapstick, I guess. I haven't tried this before, but I thought that it would be good because I love this brand. There you go. There's a close-up of it. Yeah, so I'm going to try this out. And then I got the coolest thing. So we went into a wine store, and I've seen these before in like pictures and stuff on Pinterest, and I always wanted to get one. So this is a Vuv, like a champagne bottle kind of cover just to keep it cold and it has a handle and I just love the bright colors like the bright pink and the bright orange and I didn't want to buy like a whole bottle of sh champagne with it because I just, you know, don't really need it and I kind of asked, can I just buy like the little case and the woman in the store was so sweet to say, you know, normally I wouldn't, but you know, she was like, I can do what I want. And she was like, I'll sell it to you for $10. Um, and she said, happy Easter. And I thought that that was really sweet. So yeah, so yeah, I got that and I'm really excited about it. And it was a nice day. Hello guys. <laughs> we are back at my apartment now. I don't know how much time has elapsed, but I know, I think the last, when was the last time we talked? I think it was actually yesterday. I don't think that I've vlogged yet today, but today is Sunday. It's Easter Sunday. I'm here with my Easter basket, just eating candy. Whoops, I just dropped it. But yeah, I'm back from the Hamptons. We just got back. It is 4.45 p.m. So it's about the afternoon now, but we pretty much spent the entire day, like from the time we woke up to the time we're here, just driving back. We made some stops on the way back. We stopped for lunch, just a quick like Panera lunch and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, uh, I've been kind of celebrating Passover all weekend with my boyfriend's family. So now that I'm here at home, I'm just like, all right, I'm going to eat my Easter candy and have my little Easter celebration to myself, I guess. As you guys know, uh, my family celebrates Easter. So yeah, I did uh, text my mom and uh, she said happy Easter. Um, so yeah, kind of sad and not really having an Easter dinner. You know, I'm not with my family this weekend. That's kind of sad. I do miss them. But it's all good. Uh, yeah. Oh, I when I came back, I had a package downstairs. This is from three people. How cute is their packaging? I always thought that if I ever had a had a little small business where I was selling things, I would do like really cute packaging and stuff like that. So I don't know. I always find it fun when brands do stuff like that. I think I'm going to show you guys this stuff on a video this week. That's why I bought it. But just as a quick preview. Um, oh my gosh, this top is so tiny. <gasps> this literally looks like a child size top. It's definitely, it's got to be stretchy. But look, this isn't even a bra. <gasps> this better be stretchy. Oh my goodness. Okay, it definitely is stretchy, but still, that's so weird. I'm going to have to try that on, but it is, was cute on the side. This is the pink one. It's a workout top. 
um, all of these are workout things and the straps are like a little fl frill so I thought that that was cute and then I got these leggings to match with it they're gray ones and I don't own any gray leggings so I figured why not also this looks so t did I order child sizes <laughs> let me look at this well, this is a size small, which is my regular, usual size in leggings and pants. So, I guess these things are just stretchy. We shall see. What size did I get in the top? Guys, this is the size of the top. Medium, large. I think the top only had two sizes. It was small, medium, or medium, large. So, I got the medium, large, and this is literally <laughs> tiny. So that's that. Whoa, this is way, way more pink than I expected. This is like hot pink, which is crazy. I might just be sending this back just on the color alone because it did not look like that on the website. Okay, actually, that might be cute on. We'll see, I don't know, the color is a little obnoxious I think but it's basically like a one-piece workout set where the top and the shorts are connected like that this is the back it's got a little zipper there and it's just like little shorts I don't know I'm gonna have to try that on too but regardless I'm gonna show you guys in a Thursday video whether this either this week or next week depending on if the other stuff comes in on time but yeah a little sneak preview <laughs> Um, what else? Alright, it's a couple hours later now. It's now dark outside. I have just been dilly-dallying, procrastinating, really, going grocery shopping. Because it's cold, it's late at night, but I know I'm not going to have time to do it tomorrow with French class and just the work week, everything going on. And I'm taking off Tuesday, so I'm going to have to be really diligent and on top of things during my working hours this week like I'm not gonna have any time to spare basically so I'm gonna go grocery shopping now I might just throw my trench coat back on I'm wearing my like college sweatshirt this has just been keeping me so warm recently and it's like my comfort thing you know how you sometimes you just have those pieces of clothing that are just like you put it on and you're like this is my comfort thing this one is mine. <laughs> so yeah, I just made a quick grocery list. I like went through my freezer and everything to double check. I have enough frozen fruits to make smoothies this week. Um, and I have enough of my coconut water and my pomegranate juice to, yeah, to make my smoothies, which means I'm covered for my breakfast. I have some arugula in there, so I usually have salads for lunch, so all I need to do is get some salad veggies, another avocado, and then I'm gonna get some like veggies for dinner. I could pick up like a salmon or something, but unless I was going to eat it right away, meaning like tonight or maybe tomorrow night, but I don't really know what my plan is tomorrow night, so yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna go with that for now, but yes, okay put my shoes on and head to Whole Foods. I, I feel like I've totally switched to Whole Foods now. Like I used to always go to Trader Joe's, but it is such a much further walk that I'm just like, let me just go to Whole Foods. <laughs>
grocery haul. An Easter day grocery haul. Wow. What has my life become? I feel like on Easter's I used to be just chilling out like a kid. I mean, I'm 29 years old. I've been grocery shopping on Easter for a number of years now, but for some reason this week this stuff is just hitting me. I don't know. This is crazy. But anyways, okay. I got some shrimp. This is from the seafood, like, like you know, where they, ha where they sell all the raw, raw, like, fresh seafood. I'm going to eat this for dinner tonight because that's just how my dinner habits are. All right. For my salads this week, I got some organic broccoli sprouts. These are actually pretty good for you. They're very nutritious. This ingredients are literally just organic broccoli. And, yeah. They have a high nutritional value and you just sprinkle them on your salad it's so easy you can barely taste them not that they taste bad because they taste good and they're really good for you so that's for my salads also for my salads this week i got some cauliflower i would have bought a whole cauliflower not the already chopped ones in the package but this is the only one that they had so yes cauliflower for salads i also got some broccoli also to put in my salads this is an heirloom tomato it looked really pretty and I've heard that there's something about eating a whole heirloom tomato that might be better for you than eating like the cherry tomatoes. Who knows? But I'm going to try that out this week. Just having a regular tomato and just chopping it up, putting it in my salads. No harm. And of course, an avocado. I always, always, always get an avocado. And then lastly, lastly for my salads, I got some mushrooms. These are just sliced white mushrooms and then I got a lemon because I like to put some fresh lemon on the top of my salads or in my salad dressings. I also have a lime over here too so just kind of depends on whatever I'm feeling like. I got some hand soap because in both my sink, in both my bathroom sink and my kitchen sink, I ran out of soap at the same time so I needed more hand soap and I like the Myers clean day I've gotten a lot of different soaps this one seemed to be a lower price range for all of the brands that were at Whole Foods today and I like both of these scents this one is a lavender and then this one is a basil scent which sounds strange but it's actually something about it is it smells really nice I also got a broccoli cheddar soup I have been craving broccoli cheddar. Wait, this is the third broccoli thing that I got because I just realized I showed you the broccoli micro grow greens, the actual broccoli, and then now broccoli cheddar soup. So I guess that this is just broccoli week, but yes, this is, I like just getting whole food soups because you can just heat them up and it's just a quick meal. And for somebody that works nonstop during the week sometimes, I don't have the time in the day to make full meals, so heating up a soup is really quick. And then I got a hand sanitizer because I'm out of the one that I currently have. This one is my favorite. It's from the EO brand, and it is a French lavender. And everybody always compliments that it smells good, so I know that it is a good scent. And then, last but not least, I got a water. I love Poland Spring. I'm a Poland Spring girl. And yeah, I just don't trust New York City water. I, I think I've said this, but yes, just a big water. And I'm gonna close my fridge now. And that's everything. All right, I don't think I've shown you guys my nighttime skincare routine in a while. At least not what I've been doing recently. So, figured I'd show you. First, I take a reusable cotton pad. I just got these on Amazon. And some Bioderma. Bioderma is a micellar water that removes makeup. And I feel like a lot of people have seen the Garnier version, which is sold in the drugstore. But this is like the real version. The Garnier version is like a ripoff of, of Bioderma, basically. Um, so yeah, we start by doing that to remove makeup because then... By the time you cleanse your skin, it's actually a clean slate and you have an easier time getting your skin clean without all the makeup on it. And I use this as well, just gently to take my mascara off as well. I have, of course, eyelash extensions on the top, but so normally I would just kind of sit this on my eye for a second. 
but right now it's just the bottom lash mascara okay so once that's done I cleanse my face and I start with some warm water and then I wash my face and then I rinse it with cold water because the warm water of course opens your pores you get your cleanser in there to clean it all up and then the cold water closes your pores again so the cleanser that I have been using recently is this one from herbivore it's the pink cloud it comes in this glass bottle and it is a creamy jelly consistency and I actually like it it's very very gentle on the skin and it's good for sensitive skin and that's what I like so I'm just gonna cleanse my face Water. <laughs> And I just use one pump and I'm just gently rubbing with the like pads of my fingers never use your nails because that would not be good for your skin but just very very gently but thoroughly go like that on your chin making sure you get everywhere Rinse with cold water. So what I would normally do next would be to use a rose water spray as a toner. Uh, this is the Glossier Soothing Face Mist. I like this one, but I really like the Caudalie one. Um, I just don't have that right now, but I would normally use this. However, since I have the eyelash extensions, I don't want to spray it on them because oil could get on them and then it could shorten the lifespan of the eyelash extension so I'm not going to do that um, and then after that normally but you know what I am going to do instead is just spray some on my hands and then quickly before it dries just tap it on my face and that actually just makes my face feel so much better and then after that I normally will use an eye cream so right now mostly I've been using this bioderma one that looks like this and just a gentle using the ring finger because it's the most gentle one and then I also go on the whole eyelid all around the eye to moisturize okay and then for my serum, the one that I've been using most recently is this one from The Ordinary. It's the Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which is great for moisturizing. This also has B5 in it, but I'm going to skip that because I'm going to use a moisturizer which has all of the ingredients that I would need in it, which is the Augustinus Bader The Rich Cream. And I definitely don't use this every night. I'd say I use it probably once a week. So I actually do two pumps because one pump is just was not enough. Like I was doing it and I was like, yeah, no, got to do at least two pumps. Um, but I'm sure you guys are familiar with Augustina Spader. It's like a really good moisturizer. And I really trust brands that are based on science and like were made by dermatologists rather than just like whoever decided to make a skincare brand. So that's it. And then I just brush and floss, floss, uh, floss and brush. And then I use my Laneige, my Laneige lip sleeping mask. And that's it. Um, oh, and I put my Invisalign into sleep. Uh, so yeah, so if I wasn't doing the rich cream tonight, I would have done my hyaluronic acid serum that I just told you guys about. And then for my moisturizer, I would have used this, which I got at the French pharmacy. It is the Avene cold cream. And yeah, it's good for hands, body, face, everything. So and yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so that is it guys I really hope that you enjoyed this YouTube video and if you did definitely don't forget to subscribe for more videos and check out the fashion squirrel as well over on Instagram and hopefully I will see you guys next time okay bye